Good morning. Hey, is the truth against the agents of Babylon? Our reading today is at Jeremiah chapter 5, 0, 50, and verses 35 to 38. And this is kind of a poetic section in the Hebrew. Here's what it says. A sword is against the Chaldeans, says the Lord, against the inhabitants of Babylon, and against her princes and her wise men. A sword is against the soothsayers, and they will be fools. A sword is against her mighty men, and they will be dismayed. A sword is against their horses, against their chariots, and against all the mixed peoples who are in her midst. And they will become like women. A sword is against her treasures, and they will be robbed. A drought is against her waters, and they will be dried up. For it is the land of carved images, and they are insane with their idols. So is the truth against the agents of Babylon? Why, yes, it is. In fact, in the New Testament, 1 Corinthians 13, verse 8, has that statement that says, We can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. And this passage right here in Jeremiah is the same thing. You know what we're being told here is, there's no way that we can be really ultimately working against the truth, because in the end, error, self selfishness, is inconsistent. It's self-destructive. It doesn't fit together with itself. It is internally inconsistent. And so anything you do that's out of sync with a selfless approach is counterproductive. And so it has to fail. It has to, it has to collapse and fail ultimately. Everything that is not the truth ultimately crumbles. So God's sword is against the wise men of Babylon. It is against all the high-minded skeptics out there. His sword is against the soothsayers, against the soldiers. It's against the rich men of Babylon. And it's ultimately against the very idolatry of Babylon. That's interesting. Babylon is insane with idols. In short, God is against kind of everything about Babylon because everything about Babylon is basically against everything that God does. Babylon is against basically everything that God stands for. Babylon is about creating a world without God, creating a world in which God does not fit, a world in which the creature rules, not the creator. Babylon is about artificiality. It's about fiction. It's about untruth. It all is all a fiction, every bit of it. Babylon represents this futile attempt to make a real life out of lies, and that ultimately, of course, has to collapse upon itself. Because, of course, it, it goes against everything about the way this universe has been designed. Babylon means having other gods before the God of heaven. It means worshiping idols, fake gods. It means emptying God's name of power. It means denying the Creator by overriding the creation, and so on. You can go down the list of the Ten Commandments and see all the opposites are what Babylon teaches against God's what God teaches in the Ten Commandments. God's design for the family under the Fifth Commandment, honor your father and your mother, you know, be faithful to your spouse. All those pieces of the commandments, Babylon gives you something opposite those. And what we see even today, unraveling, the creation would, if it's allowed to, Babylon would unravel the truth of maleness and femaleness. I mean, that's really undoing the creation. And that's what Babylon envisions. If it could just have its way, it would undo every piece that God made. Babylon stands for theft, adultery, coveting. That's what it stands for. Everything that you don't want the world to be, Babylon is engaged in remaking the world in that way. But nothing can be done against the truth, nothing that will last. Why do people enroll themselves against God? Oh, let's depart from the insanity of idol worship and come back to the worship of the true God. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, there is truth, and you have invited us to affirm the rightness and the reality of your truth. Oh Lord, bless us by helping us to live right in this setting that you've placed us in. Show us how to do this in the kind and loving way, even when people all around us, many unwittingly, are engaged in trying to undo and remake the creation. They're doing the will of Babylon even though they don't know it. And some know it, but Lord, you will prevail. Oh, give us wisdom, give us guidance and help, Lord, so that we can do this the way Jesus would do it. Thank you for hearing our request, Lord. Thank you for being our helper and our guide. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, the truth is against the agents of Babylon. Babylon will fall. In fact, Babylon's on a timer. God's going to finish this pretty quick. You know what? I can hear it now. Tick, 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 tick. Hey, you have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus.